So wait, I fell through that hole. Yeah. What? Actually, it looks like it's their job of the hut esque means of sacrificing people. Look down there. See the target? Piss. Oh. Do they just throw people down there? Oh, can you double jump? The slam on on that. Uh, oh. Now I'm second guessing myself. That other guy seemed pretty family murdery too. There's still a chance it was him. Maybe you could go kill him just in case. Okay, there we go. Just stay up there. Oh, you're already up there. Oh, so Max stuck around? Where is he? Uh, should be back up right where he was. I... Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Whee. Okay, all bases covered. You definitely avenge my family somewhere and all that. Come back and get your reward, Vault Hunter. I want, I want to do a D&D &D quest at some point like that. Where you have to really decide where, which one is the most despicable? Uh, kind of. Where, uh, how do I, how would I describe it? Uh, let's see. Oh, this wait, so did you one. actually do the jump? Oh, no, I totally forgot. Okay, so what do I do to do the special jump? Anybody remember, is it control? Here, I'm going to test it in a shorter. Is it jump? V or jump? Uh, hold control as you fall. So, hold control as I... Which is crouch. Oh, so check which is crouch. Yeah, okay. Control is crouch for me. Control is crouch. <laughs> okay. All right. So do as you fall. Okay, so I jump in the air. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Too far. You mantled. Okay, okay. So I jump down while doing crouch. Ooh, okay. Let me do this. There you go. Did that do anything? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh well. well That's disappointing. Worth a shot. That would have been a fun little secret spot. Where did my ride? Oh, there it is. And remember, you can always teleport to it. But, but yeah, I, I, I definitely could use... Well, being healthier would help, but also Oh, where did you go? Would help. Did you go around the corner? Yeah. All right. We're going back to the very beginning. I'm surprised there aren't more teleportation spots in this entire area. Well, they want to incentivize you using these vehicles. I guess. So that's why they have you using them to traverse all of these passages. But yeah, I'd love to do a D&D &D campaign at some point Whoa. where one of the players has like... Do I have to get out and into this building? Yeah, here? probably. Let me figure out. Yep, this just yep. seems like the main base. People it is. Are, people are doing jumping jacks. Yep, yep. But like, um, I don't know. I think it would be fun to have like a D&D &D character where they have like some kind of, you know, vengeance. Like so-and-so killed my family, but you never find so-and-so. You just know he's part of a group that you, like, destroyed. It's like, well, I avenged my family somewhere in this process. I don't know. Subverting character motivations is fun. I realize that they just did it in this one, but I want to do it in a more substantive manner instead of just NPC stuff. Hey, Beck. You're a killing machine, Vault Hunter. Thanks for taking the endless cycle of bloodshed onto your shoulders. Now I'm out of it. Here, this should help make up for your bloody shoulders. The bloody shoulders. <clears throat> okay, so Typhon Cash is somewhere around here. Oh, I see it. Oh, are you looking for the... Oh, that's up the elevator. Yeah, yeah, right. This is the special elevator business that I was telling you about before, wasn't it? Oh, I screwed it up. Well, I'll be able to get it since you took it down. Okay. So now I'll be able to jump on top of the elevator... And now you're sending it up? Yep. 
so I will go into the special nook. I guess then we can just trade off. Maybe. Are you in it? Yep, I'm up. Oh, uh, just a lot of blues and greens. <laughs> How do I send this back up? And now my inventory's full. Hmm. Ah. Right. Oh, I've got hunter stuff for you. All right, my, inven my inventory is super full. Well, I'm just going to dump a bunch of guns into this hole. Here, I can drop this for you. That. And that. Because I have no need for them. That should be some inventory. Oh, God. Admittedly, I only have a passing interest in anything that is green. Mm hmm Usually because it's worth money. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, we are missing probably the Iridian writing. Wait, we have two out of one fast travel stations. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but I'll take it. But yeah, we're missing a red chest and Iridian. Eh. I care not for any of these things. Uh, let's see. So what... What other side quests do we have? Oh, we actually don't have any. We're done with this planet, at least for now. Uh, I guess we also potentially have... We potentially have... Uh... Let's see, what am I thinking? Oh, are you fast traveling us? Yep. So Back we just up have to, to talk with Sanctuary. Lilith. Yeah, we have a... I, 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 I guess, thought we were supposed to find the keys, the different keys on each of these planets. We we got it from uh, the Atlas CEO. Oh, the CEO. Yeah, okay. or at least whatever was required. But I I guess the only thing that we'd have left is like the one or two other Typhon cache caches, but like eh. Oh well. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got a quest in here too, but I'm gonna quickly. Whoa! Miss What's that thing? Some things. Can I change color? The Uzen Patent Hedgehog. Oh, no, I can't, I nah. can't change it. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Anyway, at the very least, the golden keys do I have? What am I packing? At eight. Not terrible. Uh, you might as well go in, increase your inventory space. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, oh, yeah. That's true. That'll be with the... That's where I am. Bank STU. Lost loot SDU. How about inventory? Uh, uh, I'll never learn scat. I was carrying around some grace uh garbage. Equipped. So what's the weapon that I really like Off using? Go, I really you like Jacob's weapons. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Half my equipment is for, like, level 13s, which is kind of bad. Or less. Which is worse. Okay, so what is that? Hmm. That's a T Dior. Hmm. Not feeling it. Buy it before it's gone. Let's see, Jacob's got a nerf today. Eh. Sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. I need to compare what weapons I have. I installed your new SDU when you weren't looking. Let's no see. need to yeah, thank you. That one's still pretty good. Not compared to that though. Staring at it won't change the price, friend. Better buy up the rest quick. This is very limited stock. You've got two choices. Buy an SDU or don't. But you I prefer things that do sure. some kind of elemental more damage. Pockets, yeah, more. oh yeah. I don't even know if it's better. I just like it. And I always have like to have at least one sniper oh, rifle on hand. 
I'm not really fond of rocket launchers. I should probably get rid of They're all of them. They're okay. Ooh, I found a class mod for you. You might like. Glad you're here. Always safer with the bolt hunter nearby. Let's... I mean, maybe it's okay to keep around one rocket launcher. Torg. I don't remember what Torg has as a special ability. Jacobs, though. Ooh, that one's radiation and incendiary. That's interesting. Okay. How much damage does this do? Let's see. Torg has the grenade launcher attached. Okay. Rowan's call does 26. Accuracy is pretty bad. One fire rate is better. Focus on the plan. Oh, these are both. Hmm. I have too many assault rifles. That's a problem. Lightning resistance. Sorry for all the inventory management. Yeah, this is my least favorite part of, of Borderlands. Borderlands generally, yeah. I just wish there was an easy way to compare stats for gear. There is, kind of. But like uh, across all of your weapons, not just one versus another. Let's see. Okay, so I, I've probably got some items for you. I've got two assault rifles, which is kind of rough. Oh, that'll be interesting. Wait. Isn't this... this is, oh, this is the Jacobs I'm using. Oh, it is a flamethrower. That'll is? be interesting to try. Let's see, are you still in the shop? I'm just comparing my gear. Oh, are you beneath her puppy? I am, I am lost. <gasps> I'm just trying to decide what to keep and what to sell. <sighs> yeah, I just found a class mod for you, so I figured I'd, I'd deliver it before I sold everything. Okay, shell. Now, should I just get rid of everything below a certain item level? Uh, ye yeah. Here, Shell, can you pick this up real quick? Because it's probably pretty good for you. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. Except I don't know if I've gone down the blue tree at all. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know. I just picked it up from the uh, gold chest. I guess I'm going to go spend some of my iridium. And then I guess I'll probably look into doing that quest <laughs> while we're here. <gasps> See, we're going to do Code Vein today. I think we're going to do it tomorrow. Shell's feeling better, but I want to dedicate time to Borderlands. I don't know. Mostly just depends on what Shell's, Shell wants to do. I want to play at least a little bit more of this before we switch for anything. Okay, so what do you have? Let's see. Oh, that's kind of neat. What is? Oh, the iridium weapon sold by the, the dude downstairs. Um, they actually have special abilities. They're anointed for different classes. So there's a SMG here that oh, has... Oh, I've seen anointed. Yeah, so after exiting Iron Bear, the next two magazines will have 10% increased fire rate and crit damage. I have that on one of my weapons. That's cool. Not super helpful for what I'm doing, but that is cool. Okay. So I'm going to go find that quest giver, I guess. Probably sell the things in my inventory, but I'll sell them later when we get the chance. Okay. What is the kill? Oh, it's just a kill bounty. Wick and Mary. In Lecture City. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do that real quick? We might as well do that real fast. We have a uh, bounty to go kill uh, Wick and Wardy. Sorry. 
So it's like Rick and Morty or something. Yeah. Oh, that's... Wait, we already killed Wick. I, I had his shotgun. Uh, tell me whenever you're ready to go. Yeah, maybe I should try this one. Also, uh, even if you haven't gone down the blue tree, uh, having that class mod uh, gives you the skill regardless. Oh, I don't okay. remember if it worked that way in the previous ones. Uh, I need to be level 17 to equip it. Oh, didn't realize you weren't. Eh, you'll be there shortly. Okay, do I have a better shield? Oh, that one has larger capacity. It does 10% movement shield. Shield. Okay, reload speed. Eh, I kind of like having the reload. Okay, I'll try these weapons out. So what planet are we going to next? Okay, uh, we're going to go back down and kill Rick and Morty. Um, back at the planet we just came out of. And then we're going to go on to... I actually don't know. It's been a little while, so I've totally forgotten. Uh, let's see where... Oh, they're they're real close. This won't take more than, you know, a minute. <laughs> I like the side quests in this one. They're very zippy. There's no... We haven't at least run into any of the stupid mail-delivering quests, which I absolutely despise in mm. Borderlands mm -hmm. 2. And yes, this is absolutely... A reference to Rick and Morty. Or Rick and Morty. God damn it. Never seen the show. I don't know if we'd like it. It's one of those things where I know that everyone really liked the <laughs> Adventure Time. Uh, <gasps> what are other things that oh, serve are the same ilk? I mean, Bravest Warriors. Yeah. It's, it's, a it's cartoons kind of made for kids, but definitely aimed at adults. I don't really know if it's a kind of humor I enjoy because it seems a little. Maybe Rick and Morty is different, but I, it just always seemed like Adventure Time was a little bit lowbrow. But then there was also some, like insightful things thrown in there. But the facade of it was. Pathetic end for yeah, I, you know what I mean. Just. You there. How are your best I definitely want to get out of that hole. Oh, I was shooting at you for a moment. By the way, I think the way you unlock this quest, for people wondering, is probably by finding uh, Rick first. Because because uh, I, I found Rick on his own. I guess her her own in this case. Are they coming in through these portals? Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. And then she does have the bright blue, white spiky hair. Ooh, there is a gold weapon. Yeah, probably the shotgun again. Let me know if it's a shotgun. Uh, let me look. Corrosive shotgun? It is the redundant Savi Feebert. It is a shotgun. Which is... What do you mean? Yep, I have a redundant Feebert. Can I have it? You um, want the redundant Feebert? I want to compare uh, Feeberts. Because I, I already have a Feebert, so I want to see which Feebert is better. Okay, did you get the Feebert? Yep, I got the Feebert. So, now I leveled up. So the... F compare I guess this well you what you do is you have to equip one and then compare yeah. it to the other which I don't like I wish that you could compare two weapons regardless yeah I probably have skills I need to allocate where do I want to put them I did max out the so the first free brute you gave me does more damage Maybe? 7% chance for corrosive. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if either are good. They're both kind of okay. But yeah, the, the one you gave me first, I think, is the better one. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let me know whenever you're ready to go, and we will now, work there's, I found up. out in the blue tree, there's actually... <laughs> 
away from me when I exit the Iron Bear, it remains active and will target and attack enemies. Ooh, go for it. Yeah, it's a little bit further down the tree. Let me see if I... Because I've been going down the green tree and a little bit of the red tree. If you want to take off the thing that gives it the turret, you might as well. I just don't remember ever. Can I just take it off? Uh, yeah, if it's one of the slottable skills, you you should be able to just remove it. Oh, it's not a slottable skill. It's a it's one of the ones I had to actually had to put a skill point into. Okay. Well, no big deal. I'll try and use it more often. Are you ready to go? Uh, let's see. I guess really whenever you're ready, uh, open up the map and bring us to uh, bring us to sanctuary. No reason why I. I have to be the one to actually do that in this situation. I'm just going to run around shooting things. I'm just trying to... If I want to get to the blue... That mode right there. I'm going to have to go through some of these. With slash damage. Additional armor. And, ooh, yeah, I, I think I'd like this. But I need to get up to it. This flamethrower is kind of fun. We... See, unless we wanted to fight uh, Killvolt again, probably not. So have you gone? I'm just uh, I'm just running around fighting things until you're done inventory managing. Sorry. No, that's Sorry. fine. You don't you don't have to apologize. Just open the map and teleport us to Sanctuary. Oh, I think we missed a red chest over here. Oh no, it's not a red one. Sorry, it's something else. Okay. It just looked red because of the light that it was under. Okay, I'm warping us to Sanctuary. Sure, that's fine. And there we go. So yeah, you just needed a nap today to Ready feel better? Fight? Uh, a little. I mean, really it was to work off whatever headache and potential fever that I had. I don't know if you had a fever, but I wouldn't be surprised if we aren't kind of under the weather. Not to mention the weather's been kind of super erratic lately, so it's... Let's see. It's been super erratic lately, so... Uh, I can imagine that's kind of hard on us. By the way, I have... Uh, once we get to the next location, I got two more guns you might want to take a look at, seeing as they're, lo they're four levels... Uh, or they're four level 17s. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I thought Sanctuary was destroyed in one of the Borderlands 2's DLCs. This is a spaceship. <laughs> oh, they moved Claptrap. Now they just have a plate over it with caution on it. The Crimson Raiders uh, are bringing see. the fight to Promethea. Roland would be proud. So how was Promethea? A jungle of concrete and neon. Atlas is on its last gasp. Well, Brees, when we can. Right now, we've got to get to Athena's. I've got a friend there. We should see what she knows. Claptrap, type broadcast to Athena's. Call sign Sapphire. And comes open! <laughs> really? What are you... Oh, damn it! Oh, Maya. Bad time? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I'm guessing you're calling for the same reason Malawan's trashing our monastery? Well, I don't have it, but I know where it is. Hey, get here soon or you'll miss all the fun. And by fun, I mean getting bulldozed by corporate murder squads. Maya. She can hold her own until we get there. She's a siren and as badass as they come. Hell, maybe we can convince her to join us. It would be helpful to have another siren on board. Besides you, Lilith, I was still counting you. Oh, more ladies on Admiral Claptrap's love ship. Hey, Claptrap. Everyone's look at the Claptrap. Booyah! We're looking at you because you made a fool Set of yourself. Set a course for Athena's vault hunter. Looking at you because you are scum. <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm not actually sure if this is true, but I heard people referring to Flack as non-binary, which kind of amuses me because, yeah, obviously masculine voice, but also robot, which, I don't know. Well, that means that he doesn't have a gender. 
Yeah, well, yeah. So he doesn't have a gender, but beyond that, non binary is a robot joke. Ah. For binary. I heard you want some on me. I don't know. I I love little like kind of nods like that. I realize in this case they didn't make him act non-binary at all, apart from I guess being just totally agendered, which I guess is kind of fine. I don't know. I don't know if it's considered a cop out or not, but it's kind of a fun mix between progressivism and. Uh, Wait, did Cla Claptrap just said Crimson Raiders roll out? Of course he did. Like Optimus Prime. A bandit cult led by soul sucking siren. In a corporate war on Promethea. We're in the crap, amigo. No doubt about it. You just keep kicking ass for Lil. <sighs> Someone's got to. Well, hop on in whenever. I can never find the drop pod. It's downstairs. Oh, this is Yeah, it's all the way down. Ooh, I like this place. The last place was kind of grubbage, but this one looks... This reminds me of Shadow Warrior. Well, this is supposed to be, what, I like the Siren setting. Monastery or just a monastery? Uh-oh. Apparently this place is nice, but it's also only one map. Right in time it's for a, a big fight. map, though. I'm Maya. Come find me in the market quarter. A battalion of Malawan troops are trampling my home, and I'd appreciate some help. You know, killing them. Let's see. Everything good? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Shell? Yeah? I'm gonna just dump some items on the ground. Okay. Uh, up to you if you want them. I just opened up a, uh, the golden chest, uh, on the ship and it gave me some level 17 items. I realized you might not have some level 17 gear. Yeah, let's take a look. I mean, they look to be nice. Can't say that they're better than, oh, that's a shield. Or what? I... Yeah, two are shields, one's a weapon. Let me take a look at the shields. It'll be nice to have someone else here besides my apprentice who hasn't taken an oath of non-violence. Speaking of which... Ooh. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> I shouldn't get too distracted. That's fine. I love how this place is just No, this is this is this is really purple. pretty. Purple, red, orange, blue. Too weak to survive. Bad There's a badass nog. nog. There he goes. He's not Icebreaker heavy. Enjoying some... making a melt. They really like fine tuned the difficulty on this. I've said this before, but like I really appreciate how quickly the enemies die in this one now. It felt way worse back in um. Uh, it felt way worse back in the previous two games. Like, I think it was the worst in Borderlands 1, maybe? And then, uh, then 2 got a We're little bit better, these mostly. These guys firing from over there. Whoa, what's going on? What set me on fire? Maybe it was a grenade. I'm just gonna thing. use this flamethrower for a little while. If I can. Oh. We've got one of the Typhon logs out here. Ah. Uh, how in the devil? 
There's a lot of body bags. Uh, here's a tombstone? Let's see. Maybe the Malawan log is somewhere around here. Well, it's, uh... Or not Maliwan, Typhon. I got Typhon. it. I got it. Sorry. I saw Siren was my trip to Athenas, and she was the queen. See, after I found the vault, Atlas paid me a buttload to lead a peace envoy. Later, I found out those bastards had slipped some spies into the envoy to steal Iridian artifacts. Now, I ain't no monk, but for the record, I didn't steal nothing from Athenas. Typhon's honor. <laughs> yeah, it was just all the way up there. Okay. Now, I wonder, maybe they'll cover the lore a little bit later, but why can there only be six sirens at a time? Oh. I don't know. I didn't even know that bit of lore. You probably figured that out learning, like, reading people's backstories. So you're kicking ass with the raiders. Guess Lilith had to replace me eventually. Ready for some more action? That's why I'm here. Asses. And kicking them. <laughs> Thought so. Follow me. We'll meet up with my apprentice. If she hasn't gotten herself killed. The fragment sealed inside an Iridian anchor hold. The whole monastery was built around it by monks who think it's sacred. Maybe it is, but right now it's attracting the wrong kind of attention. I came back from Pandora to protect this place. That was working out pretty good until Malawan found us. Attention, stupid pacifist monks. This is Oppressor Trunt. It's not just a title, oppression is my profession. Athenus is now property of the Malawan Corporation. No trespassing. Ugh, that's Trunt. Real pain in my ass. So far, he hasn't been able to get into the anchor hold, but Let's not rely on his incompetence. Now, look, monks, I know you think I'm doing this because I enjoy terrorizing you, but it's actually to make my big brother proud of me. He's a general, you see, and I got a huge inferiority complex about it. So if I have to burn down your entire monastery to impress him, then so be it, you know? You get it, right? You get it. Ooh, flamethrower. <laughs> I like this flamethrower. Wish it had a little bit more range. Let's see if my knife but I guess that's okay. No shields for anybody. We and these guys scream. Well, I don't have to worry oh, about aiming ever. It's interesting how, I don't want to say forthcoming villains tend to be in this game. They kind of just the, give the, you all the answers. Because he was just like, I have an inferiority complex and I'm trying to impress my older brother. Really? I mean, we did we did have a conversation about that to some degree. That this is like what happens when the Star Trek universe goes terribly wrong. <laughs> and I think that includes education. Like, instead of replicators to make, like, basic stuff, they just replicate people. So I guess everybody's kind of clones, so the idea of, like, life and death is kind of not really sacred around here. <laughs> 